a 150,000 metric ton or 1.5 times 10 to the 8th kilogram iceberg floats in seawater. The density of ice is 920 kilograms per meter cubed. The density of seawater is 1,025 kilograms per meter cubed. A. Find the buoyant force acting on the iceberg. B. What fraction of the iceberg is above surface? Let's start from force diagram. This iceberg is floating over there and staying at rest. So the acceleration of the iceberg is zero. And if you draw the force diagram, well, you would have mg of the iceberg. And the iceberg is touching the seawater, which provides a upward buoyant force. And that's it. So since the acceleration is zero, that means the upward force and the downward force, they are equal. So if we want to find the buoyant force acting on the iceberg, all we have to do is to find the mg of the iceberg. The mass of the iceberg is 1.5 times 10 to the eighth, and then multiply by g, I'm just going to use 10 for g, so we get 1.5 times 10 to the ninth newtons, and that will be the answer for part A. For part B, we want to find the fraction of the iceberg that is above the surface. Now we know the buoyant force, according to the Archimedes principle, it is the weight of the displaced fluid. And the weight of the displaced fluid is the mass of the displaced fluid times g. And we know that the buoyant force is also the weight of the iceberg. So this is the mass of the iceberg times g. So if we cancel the g's, that means the mass of the displaced fluid equals to the mass of the ice. The mass of the displaced fluid is the density times the volume. The mass is the density times the volume. The mass of the displaced fluid would be the density of the fluid times the displaced volume. The mass of the ice is the density of the ice times the volume of the ice. For part B, we're looking for the fraction of the iceberg that is above the surface. And here we have volume, volume, which means uh, we can get some sort of fraction from this equation. So if I divide by the volume of the ice on both sides, and I divide by the density of the fluid on both sides, I would get the volume displaced over the volume of the ice equals to the density of the ice divided by the density of the fluid. Now this is the volume displaced, that's the, this part of the volume, under the surface, divided by the volume of the entire ice, which means that this gives me the fraction of the ice that is submerged in seawater. So the fraction submerged equals to the ratio of the densities. The density of the ice is 920, the density of the fluid is the density of seawater, 1,025. So this is going to give me 0.898, which means it's 89.8%. But what we want is the fraction of the iceberg that's above the surface, the part that's on the top. So the fraction above has to be 1 minus the fraction below. So it's 1 minus 0 0.898, which is 0 0.102, or 10.2%. So when you see the tip of the iceberg, you're only seeing 10% of the problem. For buoyancy problems, Archimedes' principle can be used to find the buoyant force. Because we'll be looking at the forces, you will find the drawing of force diagrams and the writing force equation very useful. Also, you will find the equation mass equals to the density times the volume used a lot as well.